The following is a production of Learfield Sports. It was back on the road for the Badgers taking on the Illinois Fighting Illini. We'll look back at some of the highlights from Saturday's game in Champaign. We'll also check in with one of the graduate assistants, a familiar name at that, former Badger linebacker Ethan Armstrong. Our senior salute this week is on defensive back Darius Hillary. And of course, we'll have our weekly conversation with head coach Paul Christ. All of that coming up on this week's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Erickson, Kumagali out to the left, wheel right to the right. What's coming from Illinois? Houston to throw, right side for wheel right, makes the catch, dives to the end zone, touchdown Wisconsin. What a pass, what a catch, big time play for the Wisconsin Badgers. The receivers right, one on the left, snap to Houston out of the shotgun, back to throw, winds up, throws over the middle, that's caught by Fumagalli, inside the five yard line, and down to the three. Backfield to the right of the quarterback, takes the snap, Illinois sending four, good protection, Houston, throws over the middle, and it's caught by Alex Erickson, goes to the turf inside the 35, Houston in the shotgun, takes the snap, blitz coming, Bart throws over the middle, that's caught, touchdown Wisconsin, Alex Erickson over the middle into the end zone as the Badgers beat the Blitz. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't worry about the scores and uh, just go out there and execute. I said it earlier, you do your 111th for every play and everybody does that, then the play's gonna be successful, drive's gonna be successful, and it's gonna turn into touchdowns. What I was proud of is he was who he, he was Bart. You know, he didn't seem, uh, I think he was, enjoyed getting a chance to go play and it didn't seem too big for him and I thought he competed. I thought he uh, you know, stood in there when he when he could, and, and uh, he made some made some throws, and, uh, and that was good. And, and, and certainly a couple they'd like back, but uh, I thought he competed and played, and that's fun fun to see. Looking under pressure, and down he goes. Back to throw, four man rush, left side pass, Erickson wide open at the fifty, left side forty, and it's intercepted. Michael Caputo across the thirty. Goodbye, touchdown, Corey Clement. Paul Christ is our new head football coach at the University of Wisconsin. Brought down by Vince Beagle. That's a sack. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By hy V. Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Quick Trip. By Adidas. Pick and Save by Zimbrick European and by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. I came in not even planning to get a Mercedes, just hoping to get some information on some other vehicles. It ended up being the best financial decision to go with a Mercedes and go with the lease program that they offered at the time. It was a very safe car, a beautiful car. I could afford it comfortably, and I was pretty excited to get behind the wheel of a Mercedes. I had no idea how nice driving a car could be. Drive the 2016 Mercedes-Benz C300 4Matic Sports Sedan starting at 41875. Quick trip, we hit the road early. We've got a lot of ground to cover to make sure you've got fresh bread from our bakery, the freshest milk and ice cream from our dairy, fresh produce. We make this trek every day to make sure your day is everything it should be. For a limited time, Quickery White Bread, two loaves for a dollar, or specialty bread for only 99 cents each, right here at your neighborhood Quick Trip store. This is what we do, and we'll do it again tomorrow. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. FanDuel has definitely changed my Sundays. It's made it a lot more interesting. FanDuel's one-week fantasy football leagues are paying $75 million a week with immediate cash payouts and no commitment. 
I've deposited a total of $35 on FanDuel and won over $2 million. Just choose a league, pick your team, and get your cash winnings after Monday night. It's like the best adrenaline rush ever. Try FanDuel today. We'll match your first deposit up to 200 bucks. Go to FanDuel.com and enter promo code TAILBACK1. Up in a hurry, snap the lot. They'll try to run it. Keyshawn Vaughn taken down by Jack Sitchie at the line of scrimmage. Alec Ingold at the back end of the inverted wishbone as Houston will give it to Ingold off a block of Ramish into the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Alec Ingold from two yards away as the Badgers grab the lead back. It's the next play, and that, like I said before, I mean, she preaches that that's that's our team motto this year is next play. So I mean, if we don't have those guys, we got to worry about who was in the huddle. Um, obviously, we got to pray for them and hope that they can uh, recover quickly. But I mean, as soon as they can get back, it'll be great. But um, whoever we have in the huddle is what we got to work with. But it's part of the game. I mean, it can happen. So I mean, uh, other guys got to step up. And I mean, luckily we have we have some guys on this team who are prepared. I mean, uh, they're not going into a game thinking that they're the backup and they're not preparing right. Uh, we got guys that are ready to step in, and uh, I think it shows that. So we try to make sure we're a deep team, and uh, we take everybody takes reps in practice. So um, in case we're in a situation like this, so um, it was uh, it, it shows, and it shows that um, that we have guys that can step up and uh, not flinch, like I said, and just have the confidence and poise to to make the plays that we need them to make. You don't want to see your guys get hurt ever, um, like with Joel or the offense line, Dan and those guys. But I thought everybody who stepped in was able to. Uh, you know, affect the game positively, um, get the ball moving, get some points. And, and when at Wisconsin, when you, uh, your man numbers called upon, your teammates rely on you to make plays, and I thought everybody did. It goes to show, like, our character of the individuals we have on this team, willing to, to put everything on the line, to, to prep all week, to prep throughout the season, maybe as a backup, and then to come out here and, and you know, next man in, and then to, to be able to execute plays uh, within the game plan. That just shows you the character that uh, a lot of guys have on this team. You know, we had we had some third and shorts, and we had some you know little option routes that I was able to run, have some success with those, and the jet sweeps. We knew we had some we had some success last year with the jet sweeps. We weren't sure how they're going to play us this year. We knew they were stout up front, and um, we respected you know their whole defense, but their D line was very good. And, um, you know, the line did a great job getting them to the edge, and the guys, you know, wide receivers and tight ends straining downfield, able to you know just read the blocks and just go. I'm Carl Rick with Quick Trip, and my family, along with our nearly 15,000 co-workers, would like to salute the brave men and women who defend our country every day. This season, Quick Trip will match your contributions up to $50,000 to Camp Hometown Heroes, which benefits the children of our fallen military members. That's a potential of $100,000 to support the children of those that paid the ultimate price for our freedom. This camp provides me with an opportunity to understand that it's okay to grieve. Visit hometownheroes.org to donate today. On, On Wisconsin! Wisconsin. First and 10, jet sweep to the left. Here's Alex Erickson trying to get to the corner, gets there at the 15 to the 20, 25, 30. Erickson, 35 to the 40, still up. Erickson to midfield to the 40, 35, and Taylor Barton finally knocks him out of bounds at the 30-yard line of Illinois. I just come back to Camp Randall this week to take on Rutgers as we hit the second half of the Big Ten season. The final third of the regular season, games 9 through 12 now we're going into, which leads to to the topic of how you how you handle practices. Are, are you at a stage, Coach, where do you, do you pull back a little bit? Are you a little extra cautious as, as to how much contact you want your guys to go through during the week? Yeah, that's the, and I think it's probably changed over the years, and yet I think you need to practice, and, and these games coming up are no different than the earlier games in some ways, and so we'll always have an individual component where you can just focus on a technique, you know, something very specific to your position, and we'll keep the same routine. We do spend a little bit more time in walkthroughs so you can run plays or see plays run. It's not full speed. There's not the, the banging, but you're at least getting exposed to it. You can defensively, are we covering the right things? Offensively, are you going to the right people? And then I think that the way we've scheduled practice, in the beginning of the year, we're going to do, when we go offense against the defense, it would be eight plays. Now we're down to five, and maybe the last week you'd even do four, just so you can keep some speed of the game. You still have to get ready to play the game, 
And we'll also do kind of two weeks ago we started where guys that have played a lot of snaps and we keep track of every snap. They'll on Tuesday they'll take only five of twenty possible plays. And that way you're also developing the younger guys and the you know, we've had a number of situations where that next guy in is in, she better be working in development. So the practice doesn't necessarily get shorter. It does a little bit this time of the year, but the reps and the, and the workload of the guys playing is reduced. I'm always curious, and especially you know, in the NFL in recent years with the, the newer collective bargaining agreement that cuts down on the number of the full padded practices, how they do it, and in the college level, how you can get, get your work in and pull back when you need to, but still stay fundamentally sound with tackling and all that. Is that one of the real tricky components for, for coaches making sure their players are ready for Saturday? That's Because that that's the whole purpose for practicing. And I think that's one of the challenges in, in having the opportunity to, you know, when I was coaching in San Diego, the one thing that allows that is, and we spend a lot of time of how to practice, and, and it's staying up on your feet. And, and when you go to a college practice compared to an NFL practice, you'd be amazed at the number of, players on the ground and the better that you get at practicing I think it's something you can teach so we spend a lot of time of coaching our guys this is how you practice and then if you don't have shoulder pads on this is how you practice and I think we're starting to get it I think as a team and we still need to keep working on it I think it usually takes about you know one or two years to get it to where they understand these are the expectations. This is how you take care of each other and still get yourself ready to play a game. You touched on the younger guys. Is there a time, you hear a lot about this in spring ball or even in the bowl practice sessions. In the regular season, can you spend a couple of periods? Do you have that opportunity where the younger kids, who are maybe the red shirts, where you can scrimmage them and just turn them loose in some live work? We've been, uh, this year we haven't been able to do as much scrimmage. We were thin in the offensive lines, but absolutely it used to be where you'd just like you said, you wait until spring ball and the bowl game. We'll go every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and we'll make sure the young guys are doing something. We're, the offensive lines and defensive lines, we weren't healthy enough. They were doing one-on-ones while we were doing skeleton pass, which is basically pass with no offense or defense alignment. I think you have to keep developing the players. And there's also times in practice as you go and you can put a you know, red shirt kid into that situation. He's now running with the second huddle. You get, they get a feel for the tempo of it, and it also kind of is a little bit of a promotion. Some guys, when they walk in that hall, some guys get scared. Some, this is where I belong, and, and so I think it's, it's all part of the growth. The whole format of practice has changed a little bit. I mean, it wasn't that many years ago when, when you play. We're talking about the mid to late 80s. It's changed, though, hasn't it? It's Fair changed enough. a lot, <laughs> and I think for the better, I, th I think one thing that's happening, kind of a trend, and college football is everyone's getting away from hitting. I still think you have to hit. You have to teach them how to hit. You know, teaching the game and, and, and the s skills that are necessary to play the game, you still have to teach. And I think guys learn from doing it over and over and, you know, maybe not doing it right and then correcting a little something. So there's still some parts that I think you, you have to do. And then yet you can be smarter in a lot of other areas. All right, as we mentioned, the Badgers are back home coming up this Saturday. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights making their first trip to Camp Randall as a member of the Big Ten Conference. Of course, the Badgers made the trip out there last year, but it's back in Madison this week as we start the second half of the Big Ten portion of the schedule. Coach Chris returns in a few minutes with a great day and great question of the week. Stay with us. This is Andrew Zielsdorf. He plays hockey. This is leukemia. It's bad business. This is Andrew's oncology team. They love Andrew. They don't like leukemia. And thanks to them, Andrew is now cancer free. Booyah. They are the world renowned physicians, scientists, and nurses at the American Family Children's Hospital, pioneers in pediatric cancer care. UW Health. Remarkable. Throw in Bucky and you got yourself a deal. Okay. Go check out your new Hyundai. I'll be with you in just a minute. On Wisconsin. At Pick and Save, you'll find a little bit of Wisconsin in every aisle. 
We're proud to provide hundreds of local products from all across the state, all at everyday low prices. Because as lifelong Wisconsinites, we love this great state just as much as you do. Believe you me. Pick and Save, where Wisconsin saves on groceries. Game night. That magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered and you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet, so Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together, and you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with spectrum internet. Where will it take you? It's definitely uh, interesting to see the other side of things. Uh, you know, my playing experience here was really special and now getting to see, you know, the other side and all the work that was put in, you know, behind the scenes, if you will, um, that's kind of uh, a very neat experience for me. So it was, it was really awesome to play for Dave and now it's even better to get to learn from him, as, you know, as, a, as a, like a coaching uh, pupil, I guess, if you will. So, yeah, it's really nice. You know, everyone talks about his um, intelligence and all that and it's just, it's incredible to see how he see th sees things and, um, you know, how he can, you know, just come up with adjustments or different defenses that he would like to run or how he wants to attack this protection versus that one. And, you know, really getting technical with things, but like that, that kind of stuff is, is something where, as a player, we were just kind of told what to do. And now you figure out the why. So that's really nice. That's by Devin Smith. Nelson to throw now. Fires it down the left seam, and it's picked off. Yes, sir. And that's Ethan Armstrong with the interception at the 44-yard line. It's just different, I mean, because I'm used to seeing him in the weight room working out next to me on the field, playing with me. Um, and now he's just, he's a GA. He's, he's always busy, but he's always at practice and stuff. And, I mean, it's similar in the fact that when I come off the field, He's not, at least this time, he's not running on the field, so I can actually sit, ask him questions quick, and he can take his time and answer them. Um, I mean, it's just, it's kind of funny that he's come back and now he's in this situation, but there's nobody else I'd rather have here than him. Having that relationship with those guys is, I, I think, really nice, and it's a big benefit because not only can I talk to them from a coaching perspective, but I can also talk to them, like, hey, I was there and did it not too long ago. And it was also nice because I knew those guys very intimately being in the locker room with them. So you kind of have um, a certain understanding of what makes them work and what how they learn kind of because you were in the same room as them for a long time. So you can kind of, if they're not getting something, you can kind of help them in a way that they might learn it better or something like that. Back to throw, back is bringing some pressure now. Actually rushing for and then shadowing, flushed off to his left is Coulter and he's run down by Ethan Armstrong at the 25 yard line in Northwestern territory. I mean, obviously Wisconsin is an incredibly special place and so the tradition that is this place, you know, and the, the smart, tough, dependable, you know, that sort of thing, um, kind of sharing that with the players and what the, the, the standard is here, what the expectation is. I think that that's kind of, there's a very lofty expectation of, of what it means to be a Wisconsin football player. And I think maybe that's something that, that I understand because I lived it and that hopefully I can help them understand better. Yeah, the crews, the crew, the, the boys are back in town, if you will. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's, it's really nice, um, especially in a room where I played with everyone that I'm coaching with. You know, everyone in the GA room, I, I played with at one time or another. Um, so that's just, it's incredible. We already had such a strong relationship and now, you know, I spend every day with those guys. <laughs> Sometimes I see them a little too much, but no, no, it's, it's really nice. This senior salute is brought to you by Hyundai. I definitely see my, my role on this team as, you know, being a leader to the younger, your younger guys and, you know, being a special teams guy, being a defensive guy, you know, being somebody that, um, you know, wants to embrace his role and, and do anything to help the team out. Yeah, we, we definitely do have a lot of experience in the back end with myself, Sojourn, Tanner, you know, Leo, Mike, you know, we've, we've all played a lot of football, you know, we kind of want to 
wanted to be, well, or yeah, want to be the leaders of this defense. You know, going uh, everything moving forward. So I definitely think that that we've done that this far, or thus far, and we'll continue to do that. Rudock, play fake, back to throw, seven yards deep in his own end zone, off the back foot, left side pass, and that is intercepted at the 20-yard line of Iowa. Darius Hillary comes up with the interception as Rudock threw one off the back back foot and paid dearly. My sophomore year when we went to Nebraska and played them, you know, that was a great environment to play in. Uh, you know, just playing in the Rose Bowl my sophomore year against Stanford, you know, those are some of the things that I'll, I'll never forget. And obviously every home game that, that we've played here, you know, we, we typically, you know, don't lose at home. And, you know, that's one of the things that we want to carry moving forward. Ever since I've been here, you know, going to two Rose Bowls, then going to the Capital One Bowl, we never won a, uh, a bowl game. And, you know, that was the objective, you know, after, you know, certain things happened, we wanted to come out and finally end the season on the right note. I ended up throwing my helmet, and, you know, just running on the field. But, um, you know, there was just so much joy around uh, with that. And it was great to send the seniors out that way as well. My dad, um, you know, because he's been in the same position before, you know, playing at South Carolina, then playing in the NFL. So, he kind of understood where I'm coming from, you know, sometimes if I have any questions to ask him. So I definitely like lean on him a lot. And, you know, just the guys that I came in with, you know, we were all kind of bug eyed at first and didn't really know what to expect. But, you know, we kind of we grinded together and, and, and worked through everything. So I kind of leaned on my dad as well as our classmates. I didn't really realize it when I first got here how big of a deal it would be to play for such a great program. You know, Wisconsin as a whole, you know, has everything. You know, they're one of the top academic schools. Um, they've got, you know, just a great foundation, and that's something that I'll always cherish and I take pride in being a part of. Throw in Bucky and you got yourself a deal. Okay. Go check out your new Hyundai. I'll be with you in just a minute. On Wisconsin. To some of us, home improvement isn't a chore. It's a privilege and a satisfying part of owning your own home. The tools and supplies you choose need to be able to deliver the same quality that you demand of the work you do. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we understand, and we want to help you achieve the best job possible. For your next home repair or home improvement project, we'd like to help you make your life better with genuine value. From Blaine's Farm and Fleet. You're going to flip for the all-new Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Plus Perks Card. Now, when you get the new Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Plus Perks Card, you get the same big savings on gas, plus perks like special deals on your favorite products, cash prizes, or gift cards, maybe even a new car or an all-expenses-paid trip. And getting your new card is easy. Just pick one up at Hy-Vee, go online to activate it, and start earning your perks. It's that simple. Get your new Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Plus Perks Card today. Some call it a miracle. Others call it science. But for those who've needed a kidney transplant like Kelly Crager, they simply call it a new lease on life. For nearly five decades, UW Health and the University of Wisconsin have been national leaders in the field of kidney transplant, providing a new life for recipients and assuring a normal life for living donors. Miracle? Science? Maybe it's a little bit of both. UW Health. Remarkable. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By hy V. Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Quick Trip. By Adidas. Pick and Save by Zimbrick European and by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics.
Time now for this week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week. And we check in with Larry in lacrosse, wants to know, coach of the players who have yet to see the field. Who are a couple of them who have really made some big strides for you in practice? You know, if I look back at kind of where we started in, in fall camp, there's two on defense, Zach Bond and, and Titus Booker. Both played quarterback in high school and now playing defense. One, Titus is a defensive back. Zach's playing outside linebacker. So I think I've seen a really encouraging growth by those two, getting comfortable with the position and getting past that to where they're making plays. You know, we were just talking to some of the offensive linemen the other day, and, and they were talking about Zach. And that's always good when the players are talking about that. I still like the growth that Alex Hornibrook is making. And, and uh, he was here in the spring, so he had a little bit of a jump on it. But he's been put into a lot of different situations. I like what he's doing. And, and so it's been, it's been a good group. Uh, they're working, but it's uh, those are the ones that jump out at me. All right, something about those quarterbacks. T.J. Edwards played high school quarterback. Alec Ingold, high school quarterback, doing some nice things at other positions now. Funny yeah, I mean, works. you're going to put your best player, yeah. quarterback, or maybe tailback if you're a high school coach, and they're all from programs that their coaches knew. This is this is a guy, and so I think if we could, you, know, you, you wouldn't mind recruiting six, seven, eight a year. All right, sounds good. Larry, we thank you for your question. The Great Dane with the location up in Wausau, as I would think you know by now, and four in Madison, east side of town, downtown Fitchburg, as well as Hilldale. Join us this Thursday night at the Hilldale location, 6 o'clock start time for Coach Chris Radio Show. We hope to see you there. So the Badgers and Rutgers join us next week as we recap that game and look forward to the next road trip to College Park to take on the Maryland Terrapins. Thanks for watching. Game night, that magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered and you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet, so Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together and you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with spectrum internet. Where will it take you? I came in not even planning to get a Mercedes, just hoping to get some information on some other vehicles. It ended up being the best financial decision to go with a Mercedes and go with the lease program that they offered at the time. It was a very safe car, a beautiful car. I could afford it comfortably, and I was pretty excited to get behind the wheel of a Mercedes. I had no idea how nice driving a car could be. Drive the 2016 Mercedes-Benz C300 4Matic Sports Sedan starting at 41875. Here's to the tailgate-aholics, the connoisseurs of cheese, the block party planners, and the unsuccessful ice fishermen. We tip our cheese-shaped hats made of foam to you because you are true Wisconsinites. And Pick and Save is proud to be the place you go to save on thousands of grocery items every day. After all, we're from Wisconsin too, don't you know? Pick and Save, where Wisconsin saves on groceries.